The limits of my language mean the limits of my world. Striking and powerful words of Ludwig Wittgenstein that fully describe how I perceive language. Since day one, as a linguist, I have always been fascinated with how language has shaped the course of human history. These powerful segments of history are influenced with how humans use language. From the great leap of migration from our prehistoric ancestors in Africa that showcased paintings in caves in Europe, to the biblical division of man's language in the Tower of Babel, to the powerful portrayals of Shakespearean characters in a Renaissance theater, to the movements of poets, authors, novelists, during the historical revolutions to topple tyranny, to the very words uttered by diverse speakers invigorating the intellectual walls of this very hall. Words, words, words. Such power they hold in human intellect. We use language for various purposes. Some for prestige, some for persuasion, some for entertainment, and a lot for expression. We use language to express unexplored emotions, to strike a point, or even to blow one's mind. Language has evolved throughout time. There are approximately 7,151 spoken languages in the world, and 120 to 187 of these languages are spoken in the Philippines and counting. The diversity of languages in our country paved the way to various linguistic research that the study its form, in uh, development, and variety. With this peculiarity of our linguistic setting, I was intrigued back then during my PhD years in the forms of lingo shaped in our society. As a linguist, it tickled my curiosity that set myself on a journey towards the complexities of our communicative environment. And that journey led me to study gay lingo. So I'd speak, gay speak, gay lingo, Becky language, Akla language, and many more are some of the terms to refer to a means of communication used by the members of the LGBTQ plus in the Philippines. These are forms of argot or cant languages created and spoken by a specific group. Also known as cryptolect, pseudo language, anti-language or secret language, gay lingo became a security blanket among gay people to communicate within the group what only they could decipher were in their group and often than not employ or to exclude or mislead people outside the group. This exclusivity in a way became a prime movement to develop gay lingo in a linguistically diverse environment. What I'm about to share is limited to forms of gay lingo that developed in Tagum City and the neighboring uh, provinces. Based on my research findings, forms of gay lingo are unique in every domain of the lingu linguistic setting. It is area specific. Most likely, the gay lingo used in one linguistic region does not necessarily have the same uh, feature as the other. Gay lingo spoken in the Davao region does not have the same morphosemantic feature as that in Iloilo, of which an earlier study was conducted by another linguist. This relativity was due to the nature of how gay lingo was formed and developed from a base language spoken in the locality. In the case of our gay lingo, it is Cebuano de Baunon. While in the north, it is Tagalog. However, in Iloilo, it is a bit different because some of their forms are anagrams in morphological feature. In our gay lingo, I have identified morphosemantic features like clipping with affixation, gay words derived from straight terms, some with foreign tones, a number uh, derived from popular words, several gay word expressions, and local words or terms with gay meanings. We have words like jokao, which means you, clipped from the Cebuano word ikaw and added with the prefix jo. The word julok, which means dumb person, clipped from the Cebuano word bulok and added with the prefix jo and ursit which means a swear word, clipped from the Cebuano word wisit and added with the prefix er. We also have words derived from straight terms like notebook, which refers to a male organ, with varieties of other gay words like notes, notches, and a foreign-sounding one, 
Notaro Watashiwa. Of course, if we have the notes, then the women will have their own gay term, lala, for you know what I'm referring to. The word melon, also with foreign tone, which could mean two ways in gay lingo, smelly or making lies. Opal, which means oral sex. Title or title holder, which refers to the dead or, or someone had died. Kettle, which means a horny person or a slut in gay lingo. And the Cebuano word, kalubinan, which refers to the butthole or anal, with a variety of lubi, which means, you guess it right, anal sex. We also have popular, uh, gay, uh, popular words with gay meanings. Crayola, a brand for a coloring tool, which means to cry or to feel sad. If used in a sentence, it would be like this. Crayola soken, kay joksakeni sa joksami, Washington pudsok ni bulod sa klase which means I am sad that I failed the exam because I didn't attend the classes. Quite complex, at the same time creative, right? Words like pearly shells, which means shame or a feeling of being shy. Tusiran forte, which refers to the sperm from ejaculation. Lani misalucha, with gay meanings of raining or about to rain. Judy Ann, with a variety of Judy, which is a gay expression for saying no. Pikachu, which means to talk or say something or to express. Please, do tell. And Charis Pempenko, with a variety expression of Charis. Char, which is a common expression for, sure? Do you know what gay words for Tagum and Davao? Ergum and Bebao, with a variety of Bebao Su for some. Common gay expressions like among which means I agree, or you're correct, or bing, with varieties of binka and binka samawab, which means no or don't, was, which means no or none, with an extended expressions of was no wa, was learn, which means stupid person or not knowing, char and notes, which we have encountered earlier, and chalks to affirm that it is okay or fine. So, chokes ra mo bunan jureps o nalelokari na mo sa mga cheka sa so. Now, it is your time to find out. Some of the reasons that came out during the conduct of my research, which tops the list, is sex talk. Notice that sex organs have gay word equivalents as well as sexual activities in various position. Oral and and no. Second is exclusivity from mainstream talks or a means of exclusion from straight people. Third is a sense of secrecy to make gossips and secret messages among gays. And finally, for individuality, which is rooted from prejudice of one's sexual orientation. It became, my sense, it became a sense of identity for the common group who knows these gay words both LGBTQ plus and allies alike. Yeah, sure. We laugh at it. Indeed, it is very comical. Some words are funny in so many ways it can be uttered, but there is so much more to this story. And that is how I would like to transition my speech. Gay lingo is not a form of language for the purpose of novelty, and entertainment, but a movement of a much deeper societal issue. An issue that has plagued our community for years. The LGBTQ plus community has faced discrimination since time immemorial, and the formation of gay lingo became their voice for identity. The uniqueness of its form made it the right weapon to combat prejudice, judgment, and keen eyes of morality. This secrecy in communication became a safe zone, a sort of perfect utopia in an imperfect world, a world where equality and acceptance seem so elusive and impossible to attain. Every word created in gay lingo are bits and pieces of human experience. It reflects a different side of linguistic phenomena. It mirrors the very depth of how the community as one faces the hurdles of being unique and different in a seemingly ideal world. 
the LGBTQ plus community fought against these acts of disrespect towards individuality and freedom of self-identity. They created a language that reminds them to depart from the rest of society and converse with liberty of expression that is beyond customary. As a linguist, as a researcher, as a human being, I pay homage to the warriors fighting against hate, iniquity, intolerance, and bigotry. A tribute to those who rose up and fought for their freedom to be themselves. It is at this point that I rest my views. Karon, chikatabesh.